the uh, the new lockdown in Melbourne. So this is lockdown 4.0 for us, the fourth time we've been in lockdown. Uh, this, we're recording this on day three of the hopefully only seven-day lockdown. Um, obviously, the authorities have been um, circumspect when it comes to any discussion around whether it's going to end on time or whether it's going to continue or, or whatnot. I guess that'll depend on what cases come up each day and what they think will change, um, you know, during the course of the week. Um, it's... Um, it's, uh, you know, I don't, obviously I don't mind being indoors and being introverted and uh, staying at home, but at the <laughs> end of the day, it's it does become a bit tiresome to have to continually be in this position. Um, one good thing that's come out of it is just um, it seems to have shaken uh, a whole lot of Victorians out of um, any sort of uh, vaccine complacency, I guess, from taking the shot. So um, I went down and uh, got a shot myself um, yesterday, uh, a Pfizer shot. Now that they opened it up to um, under fifties, and uh, that was a that was a really good uh, good experience. Like uh, despite what was said on news reports, um, you know. Uh, got in there and got out um, relatively well and it was just good to see so many people that were there all lining up to get it and um, I think that may be the thing to look for going forward across Australia really is just um, that the more people that get vaccinated hopefully the less chance that uh, we have to go into these lockdowns um, and follow and you know keep continuing on on this particular sort of trajectory that we've been on in the past year. Yeah, well, I, look, that is the good news out of this lockdown is hopefully it provides the impetus for people to go and get vaccinated. And lifting the tiers structure, which I don't know, dates back to 2020 when they dreamt it up, is probably a good thing as well. And, uh, you know, maybe I'm a little bit more adventurous than the government, but I'd, I'd almost, uh, rather than waiting for an election before I open the borders, I'd almost be game enough to say uh, in the for the benefit of the country, you know, we're going to open the borders at the end of the year. So you've got, you know, just over six months now to get vaccinated and throw it open for all. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. Um, it's interesting to see uh, where this will go um, just in terms of um, the the overall sort of thing. There, there's a, I feel like there's a kind of a sense that... Um, like you're saying, the uh, there was a playbook that was put in place at the beginning of the year about how the vaccine rollout would work, and um, it just seems like now that it's all getting thrown out the window, literally, um, uh, because of uh, this lockdown, um, and um, and it shows that it can be done. Um, that is there a component of this that um, you know that we're so stuck on administration and uh, you know doing things by whatever the book has decided or whatever the book we created to, um, you know, sort of put this whole thing in place uh, that it should be done or that perhaps we should be thinking, you know, more broadly about being a bit, uh, a lot more flexible in terms of, um, you know, the response and the reaction. Well, the irony is, is that, you know, both ourselves and probably New Zealand did the best of, of stopping a pandemic in our, in, in our countries. And, um, you know, probably you could argue that many other places in the world probably didn't do very well at all, but their vaccine programs have been incredible um, in terms of the way they've just max vaccinated and that's been out of necessity. So they haven't had a choice and they've just got ahead and done it. And I think perhaps you're right. Perhaps we've thought, oh, we, we, we can afford to be orderly about it. We can afford to, you know, do this by the book. But the reality is now that people aren't showing up for whatever reason okay. and, uh, you know, the idea that because 90% of Australia vac vaccinates normally just doesn't come across to this sort of, I guess, uh, this situation, it's not going to translate. So I, I think really considering Australia now is quite behind on this vaccination program, don't be embarrassed, throw it open. Throw it open. Maybe you have two weeks of people being frustrated by all trying to get done at once. But after that, it would thin out and you'd probably find it would turn out to be orderly and everyone who wants to be vaccinated will be quite quickly. Mm, absolutely. And that's the, the experience that I had, which was, you know, the instructions initially was you got to call a 1-800 number to book yeah. to get in. But then when uh, that whole system crashed and that was well publicized on the news, etc., that people weren't getting through or whatever, you then just show up. And even if they didn't have your booking in the system, like I didn't have, like I called, I got a booking and then I showed up and there was no booking in the system. They just said, fine, don't worry, I'll book you in now. Off you, and, you know, go around the corner and uh, you'll get your shot. 
part, which um, that's that I was really impressed by that. Like there was a second there where he uh, was saying that, um, you know, oh, your booking's not in the system. And I thought, oh, is he going to like say, nah, sorry, you'll have to go back to the cube. But no, nah, it was like, no, nah, just come in, just get it done. And mm. that's, that's, I mean, that's really what you want. Oh, exactly. And so if you take out the latest Victorian lockdown, if you take that out, of, of this actual situation, you know, where there's no threat of COVID and then the only thing that is in- inconvenience is that you waited three hours, although we've had a lot of people not bothered by waiting four or five hours for a test. Mm. So, you know, I think people can understand if they rock up in the first two or three weeks and can't get in because of the numbers that, you know, that that's a fact and that's not bad management. That's just too many people. Yeah. Um but you know, as I say, after that it would it would even out, and I think you'd find that people would start to just drop in, get vaccinated, and you'd get through a lot more quickly. Mm. But I think that's now, you know, we have to be dealt with by the authorities as they think their way through the situation that we've currently got. Yeah, absolutely. One last thing I wanted to touch on uh, uh, that's not related to this, but still related to the pandemic. Sorry, I didn't have it in the notes. I just thought of it then, which was the um, uh, the the reemergence of the the whole lab theory thing that I've seen spreading around again. Um, that uh, and now that you've got um, actual authorities like not throwing shade on that idea anymore. That um, Biden announced that um, he wanted his teams to get back to him within ninety days to um, you know report on uh, the origins and all that sort of thing i just find that mm. that whole thing interesting in terms of the dynamic that there was like a complete shutout of any suggestion that it was anything other than uh, uh you know transmitted from a bat or uh, mm. some sort of animal and now that's been reintroduced as oh well maybe we better look at that just just to you know just to be sure uh, to rule it out kind of thing i thought that was an interesting little change in the whole dynamic of the pursuit of what was going on with this Oh, look, absolutely. I mean, considering there was quite an emphatic uh, sort of consensus that, uh, you know, it it was a naturally occurring sort of uh, jump from animals to humans 12 months ago and now to suggest it could have been manufactured in the lab is, is, is really interesting. I think the reality is is that they're never really going to be able to be sure about this and so, you know, I, I think, while the science behind it is important, I think the actual outcome or trying to determine what the likelihood is now, I think the point's probably moot, to be quite honest. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. The, the moot point, is, oh, the not moot point is uh, get everyone vaccinated and healthy so we can get past it pretty much. Well, that's, that's right. You know, like uh, get back to something like normal. 